Hi folks, Mark with MD Custom Fly Rods here. Uh, just a follow-up to what I'm going to go ahead and start doing in the next week or so. Um, just to give a little bit more insight on fly fishing, since I have gotten quite a few emails about how to fly fish, when to fly fish, they want to get into fly fishing. Um, so one is what I'm going to start with is kind of cover some basics because when I started I was you know a poor soldier out stationed in Georgia trying to fish some of these backwater bogs and everything else uh, not knowing much about it um, this is when the uh, that movie River Runs Through It came out so um, that was a long time ago and I was much younger then um, so to avoid hopefully a lot of you guys on headaches and understanding so you can get out there and watch some of these other fly fishing videos that teach you a little bit more intricate on how to fly fish. Uh, I'm going to do some basics on just what it is and then how you can get started in it without wasting money and you can at least go out there and have fun and catch some fish pretty quick right off the thing and have it maybe move into being your preferred method of fishing. Therefore, so uh, generally, fly fishing is broken down into two cat uh, categories, and then I know people are yelling right now, but basically we're down onto two categories: um, streamer fishing and nymph fishing. Uh, streamer fishing is what you will commonly see as people you will run a um, uh, almost like a lure. Give me a second, and I will grab a nymph. Hold one second. Okay, sorry about that. I uh, just had to grab some stuff on out. So, streamer fishing. It is, uh, you will essentially, you are using what's not, not normally known as a fly, fly, but this here is a basic streamer. It is m meant to represent a minnow. Nice little shad, and when you are casting, you'll cast it out and then do a steady retrieve on in, nonstop, maybe varying, um, you know, not uncommon from bass fishing or fishing a jig or something like that. You can vary your speed coming on in depending on the situation. I've done slow retrieves, I've done really super fast retrieves, just a matter of how fast you're going. On the other spec side of the spectrum is nymph fishing and this here is a small nymph. This is where you might commonly see uh, people will take it and cast it on out and it it's mimics the emergers, the bugs, the their normal food source that may be running across the bottom of the river. Uh, fish and especially trout will hit up on these really quick and do really well. Um, Go ahead and stop this. Um, they uh, nymphs can be uh, nymphing can be done several different ways. Um, one is called just a regular indicator fishing, um, and you use essentially a small bobber. Except in fly fishing, they call it an indicator, which is also, as I found out. Anything that's called an indicator is generally an, indicate, an indication. You're going to be paying a lot for a stupid little bobber. That being said, that is the most common way to nymph fish. Uh, you will set it on up with one of these flies, set the bounce maybe right across the on towards the bottom, maybe towards the top, where depending on where the fish are feeding, and you're going to run that by them. It's going to be a, a pick up, lift, and go, and just let it go. It's a nice, slow pace type of a fly fishing. Um, other, and I'm not really going to get too much into this right here, but there's also another style called uh, tight lining, and there's also Euro nymphing. Uh, they're more specialized on that, and for they are definitely not a beginner type of a thing to do. And then on the other side of the spectrum, as well as, and I should have covered this earlier, is, is um, what's uh, commonly called, which a lot of people, when they think of fly fishing, is, is called uh, throwing dry flies. And we pull the dry fly here. There we go. 
like this. This is a dry fly. A dry fly, it is meant to get thrown out when you see the fish coming up and rising. Is about the only time you really want to do this. Um, you want to be able to cast out and right in front of where they're fishing. You want to be able to spot it, make sure you're there, and cast out in front and just let it go on down and then run that fly right to them. Um, it's a lot more patience. It's a lot, lot harder to do. Um, it's a lot more fun. Uh, the action on it, I uh, don't care who you are, as soon as that fish comes up and takes that and goes, your heart gets going 90, 90 miles an hour, and if it's 10 degrees out, and you're out there fishing dry flies, because that's what they're hitting on, um, you could be freezing cold one second with ice running through your blood, barely able to, you know, probably phase two hypothermia, but as soon as that fish hits, you forget all about that. It is a lot of fun. So, that being said, I will go into this next time on where, when, and everything else on types of different fishing. So, uh, have a great day. Get out there. Go fishing. Have fun. Take friends and family with you. Have a great day.